A festival rooted in Amelia Island's cultural landscape showcases classical and contemporary movement while serving as a retreat for dancers. I'm joined now by Susie Dodge, Executive Director of the Amelia Island Dance Festival. Hi, Susie. Hi. It's my grace to be here. Thank you. It's great to have you. So how did you personally come to dance? Um, so I'm originally from Jacksonville. Um, I graduated from Douglas Anderson. I went on to college and found my way to New York. And I had a career as a modern contemporary dancer with Paul Taylor. And then had my own dance company for about seven years, Dodge Dance Company in New York. And what is it about dance that appeals to you and the people that you work with? Um, it's, you know, the connection to the body and the expression through the body without words. That, you know, it's kind of a, a sense that we all started dancing. You know, movement is our first language. And I think it's a great outlet for people to find their way to express themselves. So the Amelia Island Dance Festival, it's been around for a number of years now. Talk a little bit about um, how it came into being and how long it's been around. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> it was a, in the passing of Paul Taylor, um, I was in a room sort of with a lot of different people in the dance world in New York, and they kind of uh, inspired us all to go out and to keep the mission on with dance as an art. And so um, when I came back to the island, I noticed there was a lot of festivals of music. And I thought, there's a lot of amazing dance in Florida, Northeast Florida. And I wanted to find a way to collectively bring it together. And so 2019, we did our first one and it sold out. And there was an audience for it. And this is our sixth season. And we just keep growing every year. We're bringing artists from Miami and New York and L.A., as well as highlighting our local Northeast Florida dance companies. I think some people are sometimes surprised how much cultural, how many cu cultural opportunities there are in Amelia Island. It is, it's pretty amazing. There's music and um, lots of different types of music, um, book festivals, there's jazz festival, there's, um, I mean, it's, and that's why I thought the dance festival would be just a great experience on the island. So what is special about the festival um, and the people who participate? Um, you know, as we started to grow and bringing artists down, we started to notice that these artists loved coming to the island and the connection to the island. And it started to, you know, be this idea of a retreat that artists come and create and connect to the island and the beautiful landscape and the area around. And, you know, it's more than just sitting down and watching dance, that it's that people perform, but they're also going to teach a workshop and sharing and building that community of how together we dance and we share the stage together. And so the dancers are coming, they view this as kind of a retreat, not just a performance. Yes. So they, they really get excited about coming because they can go to the beach and get inspired by their next work. Um, they can use the landscape and the energy and the culture and the history of the island. There's so much of it. So um, this weekend, you've got a couple of performances with the Atlanta Dance Connection. Um, describe their style. They're amazing. They came out of nowhere last year. They submitted a piece, and then they were a fan favorite in the festival. They blend ballet with contemporary modern with an African dance feel to it. Um, their athleticism is amazing. Uh, their spirit is wonderful. And, you know, I thought this would be a great special presentation to bring to the island. And we have a lot of great activities connected to that. We have a free uh, workshop and a lecture demonstration that we're going to do on Saturday. And while they're here, they're going to be brainstorming about a project that would focus on American Beach, which is a historic black beach um, that was created during segregation. Yeah, so um, the idea of the festival of connecting people on the island with these artists, we are doing that this weekend. The artists are actually going to take a tour on Coast One Tours about the island and about American Beach. And then they're going to meet friends of American Beach and have a luncheon and making those connections to see what could be inspired about creating an original piece. So where can people find information about the Amelia Island uh, Festival, the dance festival? So it's ameliaislanddancefestival.org. All the information is on our website and social media is at Facebook and Instagram. And you can get tickets and learn about the workshop and you can email us as well. And the performances are May 10th and 11th at the Amelia Island Community Center. Community Center, yes. All right. Susie Dodge, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.